Hey guys, this is Jerry Travis Smith back with you again from Jerry.Education. And today we're going to do an Excel lesson where you learn about 3D formulas. Now a 3D formula is when you do some math that uses multiple sheets and certain cells on those sheets to do the math. So today we're going to be doing some sums or addition across various sheets. So this particular spreadsheet has six sheets. There's the four quarters of the year, a summary, and a tiny summary. I'm going to show you two different techniques that you could do to set this up. And both are fairly equivalent. It's just a matter of personal preference and, and convenience. But we can look at each quarter. And in case you don't remember, a quarter is three months out of the year. And four quarters make up 12 months because three times four is 12. So let's first do it uh, one way. I'm going to go into the summary sheet and the way this thing is set up, we can pull in the total from each quarter and then come down here and do just a normal sum of the quarters that we're pulling off of these four sheets down here. So let's just go to quarter one and I'll hit equals. And all I've got to do is pull it in. And to do that, I click on quarter one. And then I click on the total listed in quarter one. Okay. And you can see right here how the cell reference looks. So quarter one is the name of the sheet I want to pull it from. And then there's an exclamation point and there is an E8. That's the cell reference from the quarter one sheet. Now, I purposefully made my sheets have um, spaces in them, the sheet names down here. And you can see that around the sheet name with spaces in it, you have to have single quotes. Now, we're going to see another example of that here in a minute that's a little bit different. Okay, but that way we pulled it from... Uh, quarter one. So let's go to quarter two and do the same thing. So I'll do equals. I'll click quarter two and what I'm interested in is this total right here. Okay, do the same thing for quarter three. And finally for quarter four. Okay, and I can go through and check here in my formula bar to make sure and you can see that I did indeed get all four quarters and it happens to be cell E8 on all of them so now we're gonna do something real simple that we've done numerous times if you've seen my other tutorials on Excel we're just gonna use good old auto sum and in this case Excel was smart enough to grab the right range for us and there you go. All right, now I'm going to show you a slightly different way. And it does work a little differently. But what I'm going to do is go over to Tiny Summary. And you'll see I've got this set up. So that it's simply one single cell that's going to hold the sum of all this. And the way I've got these quarters set up, you may have noticed that we have E8 is where the total is for all four quarters. We're going to type this in manually. So we're going to start with an equals. We're going to do sum, and you open a parenthesis, and because our sheet names have spaces in them, we have to do a single quote. Now, I'm going to do the first sheet in this range of sheets right here. Okay, so that would be quarter one, and then I'll do a colon, and then I'm going to do the last sheet in the range of sheets. So that would be quarter four. So now I do a um, single quote, and that closes the single quote. See, here's the opening single quote, and there's the closing single quote. Now I'm going to do shift and one to give myself an exclamation point. And since E8 is on all four of those sheets, and that's what I'm interested in, I'll just put that in. And then we'll close our parenthesis. So you can look up here in the formula bar and see the final formula. When I hit enter, it should be exactly the same number as I ha had in the summary sheet. And 
lo and behold it is. So that's two ways of doing 3D formulas to get the same answer depending on how you wanted to set it up. 